Ola Libra Sun, Sagittarius Moons. Welcome to your 2021 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email. When you view it is when you're meant to see it. It doesn't matter the time of year. And check out your 2020 Sun Moon readings that are still in my playlist. I'm doing these in the order of request. Be sure to post yours up. First portion of this reading, I'll go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination. We'll take a quick look at your 2021. The second portion will be the video link below with clarifiers. I'll be dividing the year up into four separate sectors. Also on my playlist, what is your ideal career based on your mid heaven sign? What is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, let's get to the, the traits of your your sun moon combination so labor sun sagittarius moons you candidly speak your mind and have plenty of opinions the quest to gain knowledge and develop is your life's journey you can be very direct with your truth and not all can handle its delivery you're balanced graceful and expressive but can also be moody and start confrontations <laughs> being more aware of me uh, sorry Blah, blah, blah. Being more wary of who you implicitly trust would be beneficial to you. In relationships, you have a tendency to learn about yourself through them and place a lot of weight on others' opinions of you. Your ideal partner is one who gives you plenty of space and is sincere. You can be very idealistic and romantic when it comes to love, sometimes to avoid harsh realities. You would do almost anything to please your mate and can sometimes put their happiness before your own. In career, you work well with practical people who can help your larger than life ideas come to life. Your imagination sometimes gets the best of you in the workplace and you can find it difficult to focus on tasks. A job that includes a lot of travel and exploration would be very satisfying for your soul. Okay, so uh, let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guys, universe, can you please bring the truth through with your clarity and your insight for Libra, Sun, Sagittarius, Moon. What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground? Become closer to the universe and closer to the, the divine in the year 2021. Any messages you have for them would be greatly appreciated. And we thank you for Libra, Sun, Sagittarius, Moons. What do you see? What do they need to know? What do you see for January, February, March? Libra, Sun, Sagittarius, Moons. We have the Five of Wands in the upright. What do you see for April, May, June? We have the strength card in the upright. What do you see for July, August, September? For Libra, Sun, Sagittarius, Moons, we have the Seven of Cups in the upright. And October, November, December, we have the Hermit card in the upright. Okay, so the beginning of the year starts off. A lot of conflicts going on. Um, I feel like this is some, this could be in the workplace. This could be somebody that you have a relationship with. This could be family. I mean, it's a constant. I mean, and for you guys, this will really wear you down. Um, because you like balance, you'll jump in there and you'll, you'll have conflicts with somebody, but on the same side, you don't want it to be like that all the time. You also like peace or resolutions. You like balance, you like harmony. So you'll kind of go at it for a little while and kind of get in, but I feel like in January, February and March, you're getting very weary of this. Now, April, May, June, the strength card in the upright is the card of Leo. And I see you, I, I see one of two things here. I mean, I see two of one thing here, well, whatever, you'll see. So the one part that I'm seeing is you're kind of learning um, to sculpt or master your tactic in regards to dealing with these people or this person. So you're learning to kind of soothe them. And they usually are temperamental, they light up, they're forceful in their opinion, but you figured out a way to kind of, to kind of um, cajole them, to soothe them when they kind of get like that. But even, even though you have, again, I just think you're getting weary of this situation and you're getting weary of this person and having to be the one that always does this. Um, the other way this is kind of going is that I feel like you're working on your confidence to get out of this. So you're actually working on you know, maybe doubts that you have about yourself or fear you have about yourself um, in regards to staying in this situation and you're working on that so you can exit or get out of it out of it I feel like you do because 
or at least it ends up being transition or transitionary for you with the seven of cups in the upright because you're having this realization there's a lot of other opportunities and options out there for you either there are other people that you could be in a relationship with other jobs that are um, better you know situations um, or anything like that you know that they're out there the only thing that's kind of holding you back is you don't really know what you're kind of getting into so while there's a lot of things presenting itself to you again you're kind of wondering and you might be holding back a little bit because you don't have the knowledge of what you're going to kind of get into so the solution to that is always to make sure you research each and every avenue and know exactly what you're getting into um prior to doing that and then maybe you'll feel a little bit more confident moving forward in October, November, December, I see you out of this situation, whatever it is, because the Hermit card, which is the card of Virgo, by the way, if that resonates, is, is a very singular card to me. It's a card of being alone, not lonely, being alone, being secluded, being left alone with your own projects, your own thoughts, your own, your own goals, you evaluating, um, you know, having self-evaluation about what direction you want to move forward in and having those kind of internal conversations. So I feel like you do over the year, get out of whatever this is um, and end up right at the end of the year, figuring out how you're going to move forward, which would be um, the best what would be the best direction for you okay so that's what i have for you all if it resonates consider a personal reading and send me an email otherwise click on the video link below where i'll be pulling these clarifiers on these cards to get a be deeper interpretation make sure you check out my playlist for your 2020 sun moon predictions that are in there also what is your ideal career based on your midheaven sign what is your compatibility with your partner sun sign ask me a question on instago check me out on facebook instagram and tiktok like share subscribe and or donate otherwise i'll see you in the vimeo adios from veronica garnett bye